it's finally our Disney day on this week long trip and we're starting it in Hollywood Studios. We did get our Rise of the Resistance boarding group this morning at 7 a.m. We are group 80. Put you a picture here so you can see it. We were super excited, a little nervous uh, <laughs> when trying to get it, but we did get one. I'm thinking group 80 will probably be around one or two, which will be perfect if we want to park hop later this afternoon. Right now we are in line for Slinky Dog Dash. 8.30, the park technically doesn't open until 9, but they are already running the rides, so we thought we'd go ahead and get Slinky Dog out of the way because it's typically the longest line of the day. So, we're gonna do Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna let you know what we're gonna do throughout the day, and I'll put in some clips of some rides, so here we go. and Michael got just a regular all beef hot dog. We have done Slinky Dog Dash, Toy Story Mania, and Hollywood Tower of Terror. So we've done three attractions and gotten our lunch in two hours. So I think that's pretty good. Um, the lines aren't bad. I mean, they're a little overestimated. I think the longest line right now is Slinky at 70. Um, we only waited 35 for Slinky. We did wait 40 for Tower of Terror, um, but the sign said 55, I think. So everything is a little bit off still um, as far as wait times. Um, but I'm gonna put a picture of our hot dogs in for you so you can see what we're having for lunch. And then we're gonna head on to the next thing. So we got on Rise of the Resistance. They caught us at like 12.50, so it was perfect. We got us a blue milk and we are now headed out of Hollywood Studios and we're gonna try to park hop over to the Magic Kingdom. It was a really nice day. It's really, really hot though, um, but we did a lot of stuff. We did pretty much everything except for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and Millennium Falcon. Um, so now we're gonna head to the Magic Kingdom and uh, see what we can get into over there. I'm gonna put in a little bit of rise here um, just so you can see a little bit of it. We made it to the Magic Kingdom. Park hopping was not an issue at all. We just tapped in, walked right in. Here we are. Super excited. We went ahead and ordered our food um, for our late, early dinner. Our early dinner. Midday, midday. It's our dinner. It's our dinner because we're gonna eat again at Epcot later tonight. So. Dunch. <laughs> or dunch. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn it around and check all the scenery out. It looks really pretty with all the extra anniversary stuff on it. I like it a lot. People mover time. Open and close hot. This time it's laughter thereafter at Monsters Incorporated 
So drop in and join Mike Wazowski and all his pals at Monsters Incorporated Blackboard. Share the fun. Small World queue is finished. They moved the entrance from here to there, basically. Brought it all kind of forward a little bit, giving us less room to walk. And now they got Peter Pan. I believe we have sufficiently conquered the Magic Kingdom. We did Seven Dwarfs and few other things. Big Thunder, Buzz Lightyear, People Mover. Is that what we did? Yeah. yeah. Had a snack. And now we are going to go finish the night in Epcot because we don't go to Epcot very often and it's still Flower and Garden and they're open for three and a half more hours. We made it to Epcot and I have another <laughs> outfit change. I'm wearing the awesome lounge fly. And we are going to sample some flower and garden stuff. <laughs> All right, so we got the honey mascarpone cheesecake from the Honey Bistro. And they had the Spike the Bee Sipper, so we got that. And it has a honey peach freeze inside. So we're about to eat this and see if it's any good. Our first selection was delicious. This right here, the stuff that's in here is so good. It's very peach flavored, very strong peach flavored, and it's absolutely delicious. So now we're gonna head on to the next booth and see what we can find. Got a strong what is it? It's pan seared scallops, but it's got a strong vinegar to it. Pan seared scallops with a lot of extras. Came from the little Canadian one, right? Northern Blue. Northern. Northern Blues. Northern Blues. Or something.